Hildreth 100 has Somerset smiling. Surrey can't qualify for Division 1, but they can certainly set the cat amongst the Group 2 pigeons. Gloucestershire and Hampshire, now Surrey fans, with leaders Somerset in South London. The side from the West Country will be determined to sign off the group stage with a win, though. And Somerset got off to a quick start, Conway and Davis once again opening together. But the introduction of Ashwin for his maiden first-class match for Surrey saw the hosts take back some control, and Clark capitalised. The New Zealand international bowled by way of an inside edge. Davis and Lamanby steered their side past 50 runs, not put off by their colleagues' departure. And they kept going. They were starting to think about three figures into the 70s when Surrey had their second. Davis trapped in front by Verdi. They'd reached the interval at 94 for two, Somerset on top, but Surrey had had their say as well. It wasn't long before Somerset breached three figures, but the mark would be followed by another wicket. Lamanby, Ashwin's first victim in Surrey Whites, he was deceived by the turn, or lack thereof. Hildreth and Goldsworthy stemmed the flow, the fourth wicket partners rebuilding the damage and taking the score up to 150. This was much more like it from the group leaders, the pair looking in good touch, and before long, they'd added 50 together. Hildreth found himself one shot away from a 50, and with a swept single off 30, he got there the mark reached off 119 balls. The pair remained together through to T, the score 197 for three, and once again Somerset's middle order was firing. Somerset moved to 200 after the break, Hildreth the aggressor, Goldsworthy the foil, and the pair saw their side's nerves settle even more, their partnership now worth 100 runs. It was serene going for the visitors, little to trouble them as they marched to 250, and both men were now looking for personal milestones. Surrey struck back though, Goldsworthy wasn't able to get there, two runs shy of 50 when he was caught down the leg side off Jordan Clark. And another for the hosts, Bartlett smacked on the pads by Ricky Clark and out for just two. Hildreth could easily have been put off by the comings and goings at the other end, but with two runs off Clark, he ticks over to 100, a fine display from the Somerset stalwart, the century deserved. He'd eventually fall with 107 to his name. Clark's delivery left, only to clatter into his off stump. Green and Van der Merwe avoided any setbacks before the close. They reached the end of the day at 280 for six, a fine day's work from the visitors, and a first step towards finishing top of the group achieved. But what would day two bring?